as you can see in this picture, that's a whole lot of returns. Every single little yellow label means that it's an open box item. This particular place is at Micro Center, and these, in fact, are motherboards. If this is connected to the recent fiasco with the Asus motherboards, I'm sure you guys have seen all of the BIOS updates. People's 7800X 3D have been having issues. I don't know how many people. This is one of those things that it gets sometimes blown out of proportion, but a lot of people were complaining about Asus because of Gamers Nexus video, or I guess not because of him, but because of the you know motherboards having issues and how Asus responded by saying that, look, if you update a beta BIOS, you may void your warranty. And then of course they retracted that. And now your warranty will be okay if you do a beta BIOS as it should be. So this kind of points also to the massive amount of returns that we've been talking about in GPUs. These motherboards here, they may or may not be related. Like I said, there are a bunch of Intel motherboards apparent. Micro Center often runs different specials and they have a pretty lenient return policy. So this could be the cause of something else, but it's certainly possible that when somebody is deciding to buy a motherboard now, they may think two or three times, depending on the brand that they want to purchase, to see if they have heard a lot of problems or anything like that, which is atypical because Asus in the past has been like the high-end enthusiast motherboard to get that most people will go after, and it's one of the biggest motherboard manufacturers in general. Of course, there are also many GPU returns for different reasons. Those have more to do with the very high pricing, even though you could argue that motherboard pricing has also been very high lately. Prices went up a considerable amount, especially with the newer generation Intel and AM5. That's really where the price went up a lot. A lot of motherboards didn't feel like the premium should be attached to them based on what you were getting. A lot of product stack shifting, something that's also be, been happening with GPUs. So if you guys follow the channel here, GPU pricing and component pricing are big factors in sort of consumer satisfaction. It's not only how good the product is, but at what fair price you can actually get that product where it doesn't feel like you're getting ripped off, especially for the hardware that you're getting. So consumers returning these products, not buying them, that's going to be probably the biggest thing here. Forget the amount of returns. People simply aren't buying GPUs or even motherboards right now. And it's because the prices are too high and we're getting a little bit shafted with some of the quality, like we've seen with some of the recent issues that we've had. Some of the hardware is a little bit too weak for the price that people are selling them for. For example, like the NVIDIA 4070 with the very limited, you know, like the NVIDIA 4070 and 4070 Ti with their limited you know, bandwidth in their VRAM. And now let's hear a word from our sponsor, VIP-CDKDeals.com, a Windows 10 Pro CD key. Add to cart, you put in code CC20. This will also work on Windows 11. You wanna go into your settings in Windows, change and adjust your CD key, click activate. And now let's go back to the video. And of course the upcoming 4060 Ti is gonna be one of the worst offenders only a 128 bit memory bus which is going to be very interesting to see how that GPU performs. NVIDIA has no choice, I think, but to price it at $399, or else people just are not gonna buy it, just like the RTX 4070, 4070 Ti that have been sitting on the shelves. Not to mention even some of the AMD GPUs, like the 7900 XT, way too expensive for what it was. So this isn't just an NVIDIA problem. The entire industry overall is just way too expensive right now. Part of the problem is there was like an artificial bump during the, you know, the last two years with everything went up. People wanted to buy a bunch of stuff. There was cryptocurrency mining that really raised the prices of a lot of components up, especially GPUs. Now that that's all over, it was never really the realistic expectations of gamers to pay this much. They just really had no choice. So now we're left with hardware that's in many cases subpar. You know, quality control has gone downhill as we've seen with various problems and the prices are staying way too high. And put that together with PC games being highly unoptimized. I mean, look at the new Zelda game for the Nintendo Switch. That one got basically 10 out of 10 on every single review that I saw, because while the game isn't graphically as impressive as something you would see on PC, it's a very well put together game. It's mostly fairly optimized for the Switch, which is very impressive. And it just delivers on really fun gameplay. I've 
played it through myself, not the whole thing, of course, a few hours worth of it, and the little puzzles and challenges, something that I haven't seen in many PC games in a very long time. It's something that took a huge amount of effort to put together, and it really shows, and I wish we had more of those games on the PC, even if the graphics aren't, you know, as mind-blowing as some of the games that we've played lately, it'd be nice to have something that has gameplay first and is at least optimized for a certain set of hardware where people can play. And that happens, of course, from time to time. It's not like all PC games are unoptimized, but a few of the major big releases like Jedi Survivor, The Last of Us, games that should have been better optimized really had a lot of issues. And that's really, really very unfortunate. And it's a lot of things together making PC gaming not that much fun right now with the bad and expensive hardware, quality control issues, the games, everything right now, including with the economy being down, really means that we need a new direction in PC gaming. We need some better, more optimized hardware, maybe for better prices, and the games have to follow suit as well, because they can't keep going the other direction with raising prices and giving us less hardware. That's just going to result in the collapse and disinterest of PC gaming in general, and more people are going to switch to consoles like PlayStation, Nintendo, whenever they come out with a new system. That's going to gather probably a huge following and people are going to be left with PC gaming as a much smaller enthusiast market which would be a shame because it has been growing into a more broader general audience type of market more than ever during the last few years so it'd be nice to see that to continue. Alright guys, so let me know what you think down below. Are you concerned about PC gaming and what all these returns and problem products mean for the future? Remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.